Hey guys, it's Daps here. Welcome to this YouTube channel. I'm super excited to have you join me today. There's been a lot of noise around using AI tool like Lovable, Five Coding Tool basically to design and then you can migrate to WordPress. Uh, basically, it means that you can have a headless content management system like WordPress so you can use uh, lovable or AI tool to design and then you can have a WordPress backend. I want to believe this is possible, but in this tutorial, I want to experiment with these. I want to see how super simple and easy this is. Uh, let's just see how easy it is for me to design something instead of lovable and then I can take it to WordPress. So without further ado, I think we should get started into these tutorials already. You want to tell Lovable first that what you want to build is for WordPress. So now I will just paste this prompt here. It says create the full WordPress theme file by file. Start with style.css with correct theme header, index.php with basic structure and WordPress function. This kind of things. I will leave this prompt in this video description. You can copy and paste if that would help you. So I'm going to send that how to lovable first you can see that based on my prompts now you can see there is thought for eight second and i'll create a wordpress theme files and you can see that this is still editing i can really uh, click this to see exactly what is editing so you can see i have a wordpress theme that style.css is being created index.php functions.php uh, so let's just uh, wait for this to finish up and then we can start prompting lovable to design whatever it is that we want Okay, so uh, this is done here. No need to wait more for this. We can see that this is super, super done now. So right now we can start designing whatever it is. So for my design here, I already have a prompt that I want to use. Like I will always tell people, I love to use AI to get my prompt. I suck personally at coming up with prompts. So I just love to use chat GPT or use whatever AI tool you love there. Just give it a natural prompt and let it uh, come up with a better prompt. So let me just copy and paste a prompt I got from chat GPT. And if you come here, build a modern responsive business agency website with clean professional design. This site could include Edda, whatever, whatever it is. It, uh, let me just uh, type that in here and let's see what Lovable is able to come up with. Okay, so uh, now this is done. And if I go back here, you can see that after my prompt, uh, there was a thought for seven seconds. And then we can see some of the things that were edited and now files have been created. And But again, it says that your app is blank. Welcome to your blank app. I would love to see a preview of what has been designed, but unfortunately it's not here. Let's just ask ChatGPT why we can't see a preview. and uh, Let's see if he's able to fix this first. So I just say, why can't I see a preview? And then let's see what Lovable is saying about this. All right. So I think because we wanted this to work with the WordPress website, that's the reason why that didn't work. So I asked, why can't I see it? It told me I was actually working. And then I responded that what I want to see is the modern business agency website I asked you to design. And then I'll convert the agency website design into a React Hub so that you can see it in the preview. And now I'm able to see the preview of the website, right? So you can see this uh, beautiful, beautiful stuff here. But just before I continue this, I want to just confirm from Lovable that uh, this is not messing up with our initial setup to download this as a WordPress theme. So my question was just simple. I just hope this uh, is not distorting our initial plan to keep this available to be done as a WordPress theme. And he said, yes, uh, the React version is just for me to see as preview, which is quite very, very fantastic. So now you can go ahead, design however you want. Uh, in my case here, what I would just do, this is not a straightforward process really. So if I would want to make changes to this right now, I can do more prompt to make changes to this and tell Lovable to update this in our WordPress files. It's as simple as that. I will do further tutorials on this to see how I can make changes to this and have Lovable deploy them and then we can download uh, the new version of the WordPress theme, <laughs> which makes sense, right? So what we want to do basically right now is to uh, connect this project to GitHub because that's how we want to deploy this. So if we come up here, we will see the GitHub. 
icon here so we can click this and we can easily just connect these to github uh yes i want to connect this to github and then let's view this on github so we have the code of our website right now inside github and we can just come down here to code and from here we can download this as zip Good. So we have uh, this downloaded here. So what we can just do is to open this folder because we want to uh, extract this. And now we can open up our folder. Uh, what we really want to pay attention to here would be our WordPress theme. So you can see there's a folder here for WordPress theme. So we'll uh, archive this. I'll just compress this to zip. Good, so I now have a WordPress uh, theme.zip here. So I can just uh, import this to any WordPress website. So let's experiment with this. Let's see how this would work. So I'll be using this WordPress for tutorial. Let's try to see if we can upload a theme here. Let's come to appearance, let's come to themes and let's add a new theme. Let's try and upload a theme. So I will just bring that zip file here. So I have the WordPress uh, in zip file here. So now let's install this. Installed successfully, good. Let's activate this theme, amazing. So we now have this theme here, Active One Page Pro. This is beautiful, right? Uh, but you can see that we do not have a screenshot here and we can also rename this theme. That's something we can do eventually later. Let's even see what our website look like on the front end. You can see this. Oh, <laughs> you can see this. Oh, fortunately, there are some. I don't know why I have all this not displaying the way they should, sincerely. Uh, I don't know. Uh, and again, it looks like there's an alignment issue here. Wow. Let's debug for that. Let's come back here. Uh, let's try to customize this. Let's see what this is. Okay. Single. So this is the title. This is why I need to put my logo. Uh, let me see if this would work. Uh, that's updating that's beautiful so we can upload a logo here apparently uh hero section you can see this is it here so i'm literally customizing uh, everything from here then apparently this is not a page i think this is where the issue is this is not a page and this look way different from what uh lovable design for us earlier I will come back here so you can see this. So I have something entirely different uh, inside of WordPress from this. Uh, so this is where there will need to be a lot of debugging. And I think what I will be doing subsequently in my next tutorial would be that I will be creating more than one pages. I will have two, three, four pages. And then I'm going to uh, prompt uh, Lovable to uh, create them. And that's exactly what I'm going to be doing uh, subsequently. All right. So that's my experience trying to design something inside of Lovable and then moving into WordPress. It's possible it does work, but definitely you need to spend lots of time vibe coding, going back and forth for this AI to be able to get this done for you. What I designed instead of Lovable wasn't exactly what I got as a WordPress team. So I'm going to be experimenting more with this. I'm going to be playing more with this. And once I'm finding Edwin, once I'm seeing results, once I'm seeing prompts that work, definitely I'll be coming back here to share them with you. So that's my first tryout, my first experience trying to design instead of lovable and then moving it to a wordpress theme so let me know your result have you done this before <laughs> what prompt did you use what result did you get just keep experimenting keep vibe coding that's how to go about this guys thank you for watching this video i hope to see you in more subsequent vibe coding tutorials and until then take care